Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be a book haul. I understand that in previous video I said I was on a book buying ban, but I broke that because I had to buy, I had a lot of uh, unfinished series that I had to buy, and also I came across a couple of standalones which I bought, but this is it. As I've said before, I'm coming to America so I need to be saving all my money now, especially since I need to get a Kindle because I'll be travelling around, I can't carry loads of books with me for the month, so I'll be needing to get a Kindle for that. Now, let's get started. I'm going to start off by showing you the rest of the Maximum Ride series which I bought. You saw that I had the first two, Angel Experiment and School's Out Forever. And I brought the third one which is Saving the World and Other Extreme Sports. I brought Max, Bang, Angel, the final warning, and all I need to get now is Nevermore. Nevermore's the last one, but I have the whole series in paperback, and I believe that Nevermore hasn't come out in paperback yet, so I might have to wait till then. Uh, so, yeah. The next book I have is The Night Circus. Now, I'm really excited to read this. I've heard a couple of things about it. I'm guessing it's about two kind of wizardy kind of people in a circus, and it's I've heard that it's an amazing read, but it can be quite confusing. So, yeah, that sounds really good. Um, I don't really want to go into too much detail about it because, you know, that's all really it gives you. And I like this book, though. Can you see it's got the kind of red cover and it's white and it's got the black kind of people on it. And I really like that. And it's quite nice. And I'm so excited to read it. The next book I have is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. Sorry, I didn't say earlier, but The Night Circus is by Erin Morgenstern, I believe. So, yeah, this is Throne of Glass. Um, I'm really excited to read, to read this. I've heard so many good things. I've heard it's about kind of assassins and things. And I haven't read a book about assassins before. So I thought, why not get onto it and read it? And plus, it's about a kick-ass girl, so that would be really fun. It's good to read. I, I really enjoy reading books where you have a female, a strong female present in the uh, story. I think that's brilliant. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited. This is kind of my cover. The words are quite shiny. The picture's quite normal. Uh, the sides just kind of had that, and the back is a kind of outline of her back. It's hard to show you in this light, but yeah, no, I'm really excited to read this. If you read this book, let me know below. I think it's a standalone. If you, if it's not, let me know below. So yeah, that is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. The next book I have is Mystic City by Theo Lawrence. I'm really excited to read this. I don't know too much about it. I know it's kind of about magic and fantasy and things, and like in a kind of world which isn't like ours and the, these mystic people their energy is channeled up to this top big kind of world and it's yeah it's, it's all very intriguing to me I do wish I got this book in hardback cover but I love the front look it's got like a girl with her hair and it's kind of like like smoke like like ah my hair's on fire the next books I got is Sisters Red and Sweetly by Jackson Pierce now I've heard so many good things about this. I've never read a uh, fairy tale retelling before, so I'm really, really intrigued to read one. Um, I believe this. I believe this is read about uh, Little Red Riding Hood, and Sweetly is about Hensel Gretel. And I know that there's a one coming out soon, which is a uh, retelling of The Little Mermaid, which would be really fun. I got these in hardback copy because I don't know. I just saw this one in hardback. No, I bought this one in hardback copy and was like, well, I might as well get this one in hardback copy. Now I will show you each. Uh, cover as they are. So this is Sisters Red. It's kind of got like a wolf here and like their hair and I love the way the kind of face is kind of you know on the page with the hair and the hair but she's a wolf and that's not a wolf and blah. Now I'll show you the dust jacket. Like these are the inner pages red and the, when you take the dust jacket off it's just kind of like a plain black book with the red writing on the side which I quite like that. It's nice and simple. So yeah I'm really glad I got this one in hardback copy. It's the really pretty books. I just hope I really enjoy them otherwise I would have spent, oh, God knows, like, £25 on them. Oh, did you see that gleam then? Oh. And this is Sweetly. It's, I love the design of these covers. They're, like, one picture merging into another picture. And, yeah, this is about Hansel and Gretel, which I know I'm going to love. I know the film's coming out, the Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters, by the way, which I cannot wait to watch. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that. But, yeah, this is Sweetly. Let's check under it. The inside of this is purple. It looks blue, but I can promise you it is purple. 
and the inners are just black with the kind of bluey purple writing on the side so yeah love these covers love these books really excited to read them if you've read these books before let me know below and let me know if you're excited for the little mermaid retelling because i know i am really excited for the little mermaid retelling next book i got is the fourth book in the parafy series which is the series i'm reading at the moment and this is necropolis and i'm really really enjoying this series so so much i don't want to go into too much detail about it because i don't want to uh tell you about this one because it will ruin the rest of them for you but this is that and this is the last one oblivion which is a huge monster of a book it's like 700 pages long and it's huge why am i hitting myself it's huge and yeah i can't wait to read these if you want to know what i thought about ravensgate which is the first book in this series i'll leave my blog link below and i have uh, i've written a review on my blog for it so yeah check that out oh really excited to read these read these read these another book i got guys is the selection by kira Cass. now I am part of a new book club called The Secret Readers and this is the book which has been chosen this month. I'm reading this book straight after I finish The Power of Five and I'm really excited. Um, I'm not one to read books kind of about love. If they got a good deal of action and fantasy in it, I'll read the book. But I know this is quite quite a lot about love. I, I, think, I think that's right for me to say that. Let me know below if it's not about love. But I'm getting the gist it is about princesses and princes and things like that. Um, so it should be interesting. I hope I enjoy it. I'm sure I will. But I like the, the cover look. It's kind of like she's... Although that dress... Can I just say that dress is really ugly? <laughs> now the last book I got in this haul is The Forever Girl by Rebecca Ham... Hamlington. Hamlington. And I've heard about this offer for a while. When I was on holiday this summer, and this was before I even started booktubing, um, I had an author following me. It was Rebecca. And... I looked on her bio and it said that she wrote a book called The Forever Girl. So I got in touch with her and I thought, oh, how can I buy this? Can I buy it from you? And she said, yes, you can buy it from me. But obviously, I live in England and it would be really hard to get that, like, all set up. So I've been searching on Amazon and I saw this book, The Forever Girl, and I thought, I have to read this book. It's about witchcraft. It's more modern day witchcraft and it's about this girl, Sophia, who's, she has buzzing in her head and one day she does a spell the buzzing turns into voices and she faces her inner demons and there's like mystery and deaths and she's centered around all the deaths so i'm really excited to read this i can't wait to hear what it's about i will be reading this really soon because i'm so psyched that i got this book it's unreal i love the cover as, uh, cover as well as, as well like it's got the little uh pentagram there and she kind of looks all like gothicy and and stuff but with the contrast of the bright white hair so i love that so yeah, that is The Forever Girl by Rebecca Hamlington. Guys, they are my books for my book haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know below if you've read any of those books, or if you want to read any of those books, or if you want me to do a review on any of those books when I finish reading them. Thanks again so much for watching. I'll leave the link to my blog below, and I'll see you soon.